If you guys want to learn the best OBS recording settings to get the least amount of lag with the highest quality in 2020, then this is a video for you. Let's get right into it. Now, as you guys know, I don't like to waste your time. First thing, of course, you're going to do is open up OBS Studio. Once you're here, click on the settings. Once this box appears, go over here to the output tab on the left side and make sure you're in the recording tab since we are going over recording settings in this video. Now, I do also have the best streaming settings to allow you to stream at 1080p 60 FPS with the least amount of lag and the highest quality. So if you guys want to know what the settings are for that, just go in the description or there will also be a card on the top right of your screen and you can click that link and it will take you to that video. But like I said for this we're going over recording. Now one thing I want to say is make sure up here output mode is clicked on to advance. Just wanted to get that out of the way in case some people didn't know that. The type is going to stay standard. Recording path. This is where your recording saves when you're done. So of course you can change that by clicking browse and going through all this. Recording format. We're going to go with MP4 unless unless you are prone to crashes. My computer doesn't really crash like ever. So I can leave it on MP4 because as you can see, there's a warning here that says if the file can't be finalized, it'll be unrecoverable. If you're worried about that, just switch recording format to MKV. Now, as you can see, nothing changes, but the only thing you do have to do is after you record, this is the thing with MKV. So after you record, uh, you gotta go up here to file and then remux recordings, and then you will be able to find the file you recorded. It'll be an MKV, but once you select it here, it'll switch to MP4. But if you're like me and crashing isn't a problem, then you could just have it on MP4. Now for audio track, if you guys don't know what this is, then just leave it how it is. I think by default, every single box is checked. Now for encoder, if you guys do have an NVIDIA graphics card like I do, then you're going to select this encoder right here, NVIDIA NVENC H264 new. But if you guys do have a different graphics card, such as an AMD, or you don't have a graphics card at all, it might not show anything or it'll show something different. Now, I highly recommend that you use your graphics card encoder as it'll be a lot less laggy compared to using your CPU encoder, which is X264. Now, despite your encoder, these settings are gonna be the best for any encoder you're using. I think they'll just have different names by the side, but it's pretty easy to match up except look ahead and psychovisual tuning. Those aren't on any other encoders, I don't think. But for rate control, we're going to select lossless. If you don't have lossless, you might have to download it. It's pretty easy to download. You just look up lossless encoder download on Google and then you download it and you restart your OBS and you should have it. But if you want to use something else, you can use CQP and change the CQ level to zero. But I find that lossless does provide better recording quality. So I'm going to select that keyframe interval. You always want to keep this to two preset have this click to max quality but if you are someone who's looking for more performance then you could go down here and click max performance i haven't really noticed a quality difference there but i just selected it to max quality profile a lot of people say that this has to be on main but that's false always keep it on high for 99% of the time if you're uploading to YouTube or just any 1080p platform and you're going to want to set your profile to high. For look ahead, we're actually going to check this and we're also going to check psycho visual tuning. GPU always have this to zero and max B frames just leave that on default which I think by default it's on one but either way it doesn't matter because look ahead is checked so whatever you put here won't affect it so now that we're done with the recording tab we're gonna go up here and go switch to audio now for this we're gonna go over to each one of these audio bitrate selections and change them from I think the defaults 192 we're gonna change it to 320 to get the highest quality and we're gonna do that on every single one as you can see mine is set to that already and once you've done that you're now done with the output tab and now that we're done with output we're going to go over here to the left side and click on video now once you're here you're just going to copy the settings i have because it's pretty much universal since youtube and twitch are 1080p platforms so right here base canvas resolution 1920 by 1080 and output scaled resolution same thing as you have the base resolution set to if you do want to stream 720p which some people do then, like I said, make sure both of these are set to the same thing, which is like that. You should make it look like that. Downscale filter, change this to Lanxos, sharpen scaling 36 samples, 
and common FPS values right here. You could select either 30 or 60 FPS, but I highly recommend 60 FPS because that's pretty much standard now. And the last step we're going to take is go over here to the advanced section. And the one thing you're going to change in here is over here next to process priority. It'll be on normal change it to above normal and you will be done. So now we're going to go here, click apply and then OK. And now you have the best settings for recording in the highest quality. Like I said, if you want to see the best streaming settings, there will be a link down below in the description and at the top right. And also, if you guys want to learn how to decrease lag by other means, so if you are using these settings and you find that you are still lagging, but you still want the high quality, I will have a video down below in the description or at the top right. You can click that and find the best way to reduce lag while streaming or recording. There are tips in there that you probably haven't learned from other YouTubers. Also comment down below if you're having some issues or you have any questions, I'll be happy to help you. I do respond to comments very quickly, so you probably won't have to wait that long. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped. If it did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. As you guys know, that really does mean a lot to me. I will see you all in my next video. Peace out, everybody.